concern, but he doesn't have like a big cheat button. Even down smash is definitely egregiously large, but there's only so many times that it can really help you out. We'll see if it comes to help out Hayes as Kamek's picked into Sonic, who's a character who can be very squirrely, even like within disadvantage. Yeah, Sonic definitely one of the characters that like, as someone who missed out on Smash 4, I'm a little less familiar with. Uh, but he, he's really interesting just in terms of, uh, he feels incredibly fast, but he's actually not the most mobile. Like his dash isn't really amazing and he doesn't really seem to be doing too much dash dancing, but he can really whiff punish you from anywhere on the stage. That F smash is absolutely amazing. It can catch you with the ledge and kill you with like ridiculously early percents. Uh, and he's a very dangerous character to really go up against, particularly for Wolf, who definitely tries to kind of create his zone and maintain it. Uh, Sonic can be a very frustrating kind of character to play against just because of how uh, adept he is at really exploiting any little hole that's really in there. One thing I'm especially noticing about Kamek's Sonic that I think is very good is the fact of how grounded he's trying to stay. Sonic on the ground has so much potential for being able to call out any little habit because he takes advantage of that speed. He could just run up and jab as necessary. We've seen Kamek try to threaten with forward smash a couple of times. And once he commits to being in the air, he's at the mercy of Wolf Nair just checking him. And he doesn't want to be like too far off against Wolf at these higher percentages. That's amazing Nair to uh, put Kamek's off stage. And one thing that I, I think is really interesting to that point is that he's staying grounded and he's also staying very close to Hayes. So he's not really giving him the space that you would need to set up a laser that would force Kamek's E to either shield or take to the air in order to avoid it. You're really seeing that Kamek's is staying very close trying to sort of pressure Hayes into whiffing an option, but not going in so aggressively. But Hayes, right now, uh, as you can see, is doing a much better job on this stock, kind of setting up that area around him uh, where he can threaten Kamex. And as a result, Kamex has had a very hard time establishing himself on the stage in the second stock. Like he's struggling to get much damage on, and I mean, Wolf's at 165, you don't need much more than that. But also, like, the fact that Hayes is calling out like where these battles have to, to happen, the fact that it's Kamex who needs to come in and approach in order to get anything down, is I think what's making this the most hard. The fact that this interaction happened at the ledge allowed Kamex to get the quick yeet for the first yeah. kill. But look at that, he's already at 104%. Yeah, and that's a bad place to be against Wolf, especially because there are so many moves that he has that can just incidentally kill you. Like Up Smash, though, that won't quite do it. Maybe if he had hit the first hit to kind of get more damage. Uh, but certainly at 134, there isn't much Wolf has that won't kill Sonic. Uh, but we do see that he's racking up damage pretty well. <laughs> Got a quick, quick soccer ball hit. And it's difficult for Sonic, I I've heard, to play against someone with a lead, someone who isn't compelled to approach. Uh, which I, I can kind of see here that like Kamex is having a very difficult time putting like a lot of safe hitboxes on Hayes to sort of pressure him. Uh, it doesn't seem like Sonic has a, a plethora of those, but he has so much momentum right now, and he's really just guessing completely right on all the options that Hayes is picking to Ooh. get out of disadvantage. Couldn't have said it better myself. That was just a roulette wheel of excellent callouts. Getting jackpot on him, managing to eliminate the lead. Hayes had. Yeah, and, and I mean, now with this percent deficit, it's really not significant. Oh, right? it's hella doable now. Yeah, so I mean, here you can see that Hayes is playing at a much longer range than he was earlier in the match. Definitely trying to. Oh, wow, and he just goes out and does it. I didn't even think the back air was a possibility there. Uh, but Hayes really just goes out for the kill. All right. Some discussion of tournament seating in the Twitch chat. Uh, listen. It wouldn't be a tournament without any complaining about seating course, in Twitch chat. Of course. Chat. <laughs> listen, if you want to complain about random seating, uh, come to the tournament so you can get randomly seated. Oof. So, was the entire tournament randomly seated? Yep. To my understanding, uh, yep. House chooses random, pure random seating for their Arcadians. There's no adjustment to the seating. They let Smash GG take the wheel and let it roll off the... the uh, the board. Oh wow, that's really uh I yeah. feel like it makes for a more entertaining it definitely event. yeah. Uh Nick, you're not allowed to be seated. You're banned from seating. <laughs> He's banned from seating, yeah. Ban banned banned from getting seated at an Nick C, game. more like Nick Seed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Got him. Yeah, got him. Got him. Uh and I forgot <laughs> to focus on what stage they were picking during the intervening time, but they're going Stadium. back to PS2. I feel and like the stage wasn't the. I actually feel like the stage works well for Sonic. It's just that Hayes managed to just 
screw him out of the last stock. Like, yeah, I agree. Some villainy in that last. Yeah, one. no, that that last game he really just napped. You know, uh, it didn't really feel like that was such a. a undoable kind of game for Camex, and I actually felt like, especially on that second stop, you saw that he had a good read on what Hayes was doing out of disadvantage, but he just ran into a bunch of stuff on that last stop and unfortunately got taken out. Uh, but Camex off to a, a better start. I'm interested to see if he's able to pick up a, a significant lead, whether or not the momentum of the match will really shift in his favor. Uh, because I think that for most of the match, he was really trying to get in on Hayes, who definitely had the lead, definitely had the advantage. Uh, but right now, he's definitely off to a better start than he was in game one. Choosing Edgeguard with the up B, which I, I'm uh, very surprised by. <laughs> I, I love, both of these characters can do stupid things with their up B at the ledge, but like, Spring gives a nice protect. Oh, that was a cute Yeah, slide. that was an interesting pivot uh, down smash there. I like those nares that he's doing at the ledge to kind of try to kind of cover like an air dodge maybe, or uh, maybe an up B that goes a little too high. It's a really smart option from Hayes here. Like, all right, so Fire Wolf can sit at really screwy angles that at higher percentages, if you're not ready for where you're going to get sent at the stage, you're just, you're done for. I'm sorry, is it actually called Fire Wolf? That's like more recently, yeah. That's you know, really I interesting. To, I had to double check it, and I definitely just call it up me because I don't want people to know it's Fire Wolf. There's yeah, no fire! Yeah, it's a bad name. <laughs> it's a really bad name. Uh, yeah, no, there are some... I don't know, there's some really weird names. I didn't know until, like, two days ago that Inkling Up B was called just Super Jump. Yeah, which it's, uh, it's whatever. <laughs> in Splatoon, there's the mechanic where you just get to super jump to one of your teammates or your base. Yeah, I only just recently played Splatoon for the first time. It was pretty fun. Oh, that game's lit. Yeah, that game's cool. I wish I could play with a mouse, though. I'm really bad at console shooters. Anyway, getting back into the match, of course, uh, we see that, that Kamex, again, at a slight deficit, but I, I just feel like all he needs is one more really explosive conversion like he got. Uh, and we're seeing Hayes do a lot of air dodges at disadvantage here, which is definitely a dangerous thing to do against Sonic, because if he can wait on the ground and wait for you to get to the ground from that air dodge, you're definitely in for a pretty rough time. Ah! Oh my god, he Great has Great charge so. on the forward smash, and even calling out any type of a jump in by angling it upwards. Good call out from Kamek. Yeah, Gonna amazing job. And that forward smash, it really, I mean, if you are unfamiliar with Sonic, I really recommend that you take, it, take yourself over to Ultimate Frame Data and look at just how massive the hitbox really is on Sonic uh, Forward Smash. It really is huge, and that might do it. Oh, great angle on the Wolf Flash. Can you angle Wolf Flash? Is that a thing? You can. It's very slight of an angle, but it does make a difference, especially when you have to come out from that deep. Yeah, I, I know it's a thing in Project M, but I was unsure. It looked like it was angled, though. And an amazing back air, and I think that Hayes is doing a really good job of calling out uh, Kamex's double jumps out of disadvantage with back air, and I, I think that Kamex is definitely kind of holding in a lot in disadvantage, right? Like, we see him just kind of drifting passively towards the stage as he kind of comes down from being comboed, and that's something that Wolf specifically does well against. Uh, if he waited a little bit longer, he would have been able to give him the good scoop. Yeah, no, and that would have been the set, because it is, of course, a set point for Hayes. Uh, definitely looking for the kill, and the pressure, definitely at 90% already, is on for Kamex. It's, uh, oh, gets the F smash. We can see what he will do at the ledge. Oh, but he misses his wolf flesh. Let's see what the opportunity to do is. All right. No, I'm surprised. We've seen Hayes multiple times retreat to the uh, platforms when he's coming back to stage. And Kamex hasn't, like, gone to cover them yet. He's no. getting really hard to be at the ledge. No, I, I feel like um, in this in this set, uh, Kamex has had a very hard time getting these solid punishes on Hayes' recovery, but not a hard time getting the F smashes on stage, surprisingly enough. And a second one of those is going to take the game for Kamex. Going to bring it to 1-1. One, one. Interestingly, it looks like uh, FD and Smashville were banned, as opposed to FD in town, which is what I would have expected. And town ends up being picked. Uh, I mean, Smashville's kind of small. It can lend itself to... Uh, oh, we got a restart. Yo, we got a boys dancing, too. Oh, wow. Let's go. Four months of support. I, I'm i curious to know what's in that <laughs> bottle on the left side of the frame. <laughs> Water. Stay hydrated. Yeah, of course. Of course. Stay hydrated. <laughs> All right. Oh, and an interesting color counter pick. Ooh. We gotta put it on a new jacket. Yeah. When you're going I, out to the city, you gotta put on the good clothes. I love all of Wolf's colors. I think they all look great. They really do. 
Yeah, people guys, sleep on like the, the like the tan leather jacket yeah. one, but like I digress. We got See, the that's blue like a real jacket that like someone could wear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the town and city pick I think is a very interesting one because I feel like Sonic does great on this stage. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like already you're kind of seeing that it feels like Chemex has a lot more space to play in the air because he has many more opportunities to retreat to platforms. And just as I say that, they all drift out as of course is, is customary on town and city. Uh, and we'll have to see how he lands without those platforms, but he manages to just drift out. Uh, Wolf, of course, decently quick on the ground and surprisingly fast in the air, but not always really able to get out there when his opponent is really making a concerted effort to get away from him in disadvantage. Right. And quick, quick though he may be, he's not as fast as Sonic. No, not at all. Uh, no one is. <laughs> and I think Alex is taking like good advantage of that, even with the plot, the new platform that layout that's out. Like he's opting to return to the stage from like the opposite side, utilizing spin charge and spin dash where needed. Yeah, definitely. It feels like this game, Hayes is playing much more aggressively, really trying to get in Kamek's face. An unfortunate grab lift, but the air dash dodge back is going to save Kamek's stock, which is incredibly important because I feel like in this game, whoever takes the first stock is really going to have a massive advantage, and it's going to be Hayes with a dash attack at 150. Really dangerous move from Wolf. Oh, oh and strikes right back with the spin dash to forward air. That's a great follow-up, too. As the platforms were coming in, so it's now a very clean battle for stage control. You don't lose any of your own momentum. Manages to read uh, Sonic when he starts charging homing attack goes up a little. And you can see that Hayes actually read that with a back air, which is amazing matchup knowledge and a really interesting play, but unfortunately isn't going to be able to make it back with the side B. And now Kamex really, for the first time this set, has a sizable lead over Hayes. Yo, with the weight with the, the spring right too, we saw Kamex cover all the bases with that. He is in prime position to try to take oh this, but God. you can't steal from the real thief. Even with a howl out of it, all right, Hayes oh, bringing wow. this down to the last stock of this set. And I'm really interested to see, I feel like Kamex is playing much more aggressively this stock, really trying to get into Hayes' face and get him to push a button. And he gets uh, a punish on the dash grab there that Hayes tries to throw out. An amazing read on the tech in with F smash. It's a good call out to help keep the uh, percentage race. A Manages bit to clank with back air with the spring. An impressive play from Kamex. Really good knowledge of what Sonic can do in those sorts of situations. And you can see his spacing is immaculate. He's staying right outside Wolf's sort of panic option ranges. Manages to bait out an F tilt. Manages to bait out a forward air. Really great stuff from Kamex. And he's only going to need a few more hits, but Wolf can start really threatening kills at this percent. This could be really dangerous territory for both players. It's pretty evident at this point that Kamex has very good character knowledge as far as like what he needs to do against Wolf. And I feel like that's in credence to the fact that Wolf is a pretty popular character. We've already established that, but Sonic not as much in this game. No, certainly not. And it, it seems very... Oh, wow, Bad he just goes up in back Big airs. call out. All right. And man, that has got to be rough for Kamex. Uh, but, I mean, it was a great set from both players. I think Kamex's Sonic was really impressive, and a lot of the reads he made, a lot of the things he was able to bait out were, were really amazing. And, and I think that he had a very good understanding of the character, and I'm really interested to see how he does at future events. I hope to see him on stream more often. I hope